All right, guys, this is Coffee Chunk. So check this out. You've figured out how to play rock, paper, scissors. You've got it working where it tells you if you've won or lost. But how do you keep score? So this is one way. It's not the most perfect way, but it works within the existing code that we were already creating. So, so let me go ahead and run it, and I'll show you what happens. As we go through here, let me stop it. I'll just I'll rerun. We've got our rock, paper, scissor. If I pick, I want scissors. And I got scissors versus paper. It says I win. And you can see that human gets a score of one, machine zero. I pick paper, computer wins, now it's one to one. I'm gonna go paper again, computer wins, oh no, I'm, oh, I'm getting beat. So we gotta draw there. And so you can see that it's gonna keep score as we go through here. So how did I make this happen? So let's check this out. What I did up here at line six and seven, I added two more variables. Score one is set to zero, score two set to zero. Score one is going to be the person, score two is going to be the computer. Then what I did was I put in a while one block. So this is going to loop this forever. It's going to keep this thing going. That's why it keeps asking me. And then I had to take all my existing code and I had to indent properly. So where a player was originally clear over here to the side, I had to indent once, same thing with if. And I had to move and shift everything over, just like we had. That code is exactly the same from the previous video, and you can check that out if you want. Now, what I did was down here in the else if commands, we were down here printing player wins or computer wins. We had all that figured out. Well, now I went through and I added one more element. I changed the variable. So if the player wins, I have score one is equal to score one plus one. And I have that in all the player commands. So player wins here, player wins here. For computer wins, which are here, and here, and here, I use the same idea, but I've used it with score two variables. So score two will score a point. And then down here at the bottom, we printed. And so what I've got here in the quotes is I have the word human, followed by the score one variable, and then the machine text with the score two variable. And then it kicks all the way back up here and it does the same thing again. And now we've got this scrolling winner loser column over here. So that is one way in which you can keep score. If you come up with other ways, feel free to share. I'd love to see it. I'd love to learn myself. And in the next one, I'll be sharing you my final version as opposed to rock, paper, scissor, you know it's going to have a coffee theme. Sugar, I don't know, what should it be? Sugar, coffee, and cream? Coffee, sugar, cream? I don't know. What do you think, guys? Leave me some comments below, and we'll get it made. All right, guys. Oh, and also, and also, if we do a coffee theme, I need help with some ASCII characters. So, so if you want to help me of what characters I should use as opposed to scissors for coffee or sugar or cream, whatever it is, Leave those in the comments, send them to me so I can take, take a look at them, and I'll infuse them in my rock, paper, scissor game. All right, guys. Take care, and I hope this helps.